The heart of a city. Streetcars, autos, hot and hard pavements, the rush and bustle of business. Hello, what's this? The silhouette of a crucifix. Alvira Street. Here, 150 years ago, the city of Los Angeles was founded and known as El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Reina de Los Angeles, meaning the town of Our Lady, Queen of the Angels. This original crucifix was erected when the Pueblo was established by order of King Carlos III of Spain. Populated with people in Mexican and Spanish costumes, their shops adorned with gay awnings, Alvira Street throbs with the spirit of the past. La Casita, delicious enchiladas, tortillas, colorados, and tamales, cooked while you wait, served hot in more ways than one, and strange to relate, a dish called chili is the hottest. Cactus, all shapes, all breeds. Transplanted in sand and small rocks and sold in bowls and pots of every description. Cactus souvenirs, brought direct from the desert, have become quite a fad, but be careful to keep your distance from the hot points. The pelican is the particular mascot here. The first mascot was a live pelican, but he ate some of the cactus, and that's the end of that story. You may have the pottery that holds your cactus painted to individual design. No noisy machinery here to spoil the pleasure of a day's work in creating attractive combinations. A never-ending procession of different designs. And sometimes the ashes from a Mexican cigarette are included in the paints. But. There is no extra charge for that. Aristocratic homes of yesterday. They have become intriguing shops and studios. Well cared for patios with shady trees are a part of each home. Here may be found cool recesses where one retreats for a siesta behind walls that are two feet thick. The riotous color of roses and gladiolas. The fragrance of the gardenia. Mmm. One cannot leave here without a floral souvenir. The Indian trading post, El Navajo. Old saddles, Indian drums, crude chairs with cowhide seats, arrowheads, baskets, blankets, all here. History is found at La Golondrina, the oldest brick house in Los Angeles. Yesterday it was a winery. Today, well, <laughs> they serve delicious iced tea and marvelous Mexican meals. There are many convenient benches where one may rest because the visitor who comes for an hour usually stays until midnight. And again we have history. In 1818, Don Francisco Avila constructed this adobe house on what was then called Vine Street. Between 1927 and 1930, through the loyalty and civic pride of the descendants of the early settlers, the romantic, colorful, and picturesque glory of the past was restored. And in this home, Commander Robert Field Stockton, USN, established his headquarters when America took possession of the town in 1847. The original interior decorations, including most of the furniture, remain intact. Teatro Torito devoted to marionettes, puppets, where they portray the early history of California for the amusement of the children and for the entertainment and education of the tourists. Famous characters are represented and costumed correctly. There is a ballyhoo before each show accompanied by the ever-present Mexican orchestra, and performances are given on the tiny stage in the old theater every afternoon and evening. Truly a street of memories. Soft speaking olive skin guides. Languid in business. You buy or you don't buy. What does it matter? Happiness is here's when humming an old love song. 
and he is lost without the inevitable guitar. Beauty at every booth, if not in the article, surely in the attendant. Sun-baked pots made from clay, a very old art, molded in cool cellars, baked hard in the broiling sun. Further charming proof of Mexican fascination. You may meet this little fellow with the soulful eyes manana, but he's going now. Boot blacks are not only on, but literally under your feet. One cannot use five shines, but one may stir up a little activity with a handful of money, and it's more fun for the kids than shining shoes. And of course, more profitable. of the past is maintained. Soft voices, soft footsteps, soft music. The busy world is forgotten. Around the corner they still live as they did yesterday. All latch strings are out. Families visit each other daily. And here one hears the soft salutations of Buenos dias, senorita. Buenos noches, senora. And muchas gracias, senor. Mingling with the restful shadows and the echoes of hasta la vista, hasta la luego. The Dobie Bookshop and its proprietress in authentic costume. Here one stops to read and remains to admire. Why? <laughs> well, look. Great granddaughter of a Spanish don, her beauty makes one speechless. A shrine. It is that of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Patron saint of Mexico, the candle is always burning. Fresh flowers are always present. Twice a day the offering of restful music is made, and it is a pleasant pause in the annoying business of making a living. Here is a touch that crowns the effort to retain the old-time atmosphere. The Mexican flag waving over the Avila home from the original pole. Tourists come to spend an hour. The hour lengthens into many. The shadows fall and still they wander from stall to stall, ever finding a reward for their curiosity. No one leaves without a memento or souvenir of some sort useful or ornamental, and who can say which is the envious one? The aged plaza that lifts its tired eyes to the modern admired city hall of Los Angeles, or the sunburned building that looks down on the peace and restfulness of this street of memory. Mm -hmm. 